Please welcome Eric Charles Nielsen. Ever since I graduated from college, I've been pursuing stand-up comedy with a vengeance. And not just because stand-up comedy killed my father. <laughs> I actually suffer from a condition which makes me practically unemployable. I majored in English. <laughs> You know what's terrible? <sighs> Everything! <laughs> Some comics file their jokes away in folders. I only own two folders. One of them is labeled Plots to Destroy the World. The other one is labeled Teen Angst Poetry. But it doesn't contain teen angst poetry. It contains plots to destroy the world. The one labeled plots to destroy the world actually contains plots to take over the world. It's misdirection. Another example of misdirection is how you think this is a joke about folders and taking over the world. It's actually a joke about drag queens. None of you were expecting that. Now, I'm not a drag queen myself but I'm concerned for them. I just want to say to them, listen, guys, you can't all be queens. Do you know nothing of political science? <laughs> if you want to be queens, you have to rule over somebody, some kind of drag peasants, and from there to the lesser ranks of the nobility, drag baronesses, drag countesses, drag duchesses, one queen per region. <laughs> and then you can have wars. What they've got now is some kind of drag anarchy. <sighs> I've been suffering lately from hallucinations. I saw a doctor. There was no doctor. So I have a human woman girlfriend, possibly due to a clerical error. But it's going well, I, I love her. And I'm especially happy, before, before I met her, I was not successful with girls. I had been on three dates in my entire life. And that's counting a job interview that included lunch. <laughs> I'm happy. Now I'd like to say a few words about Donkey Kong. In the first Donkey Kong game, Donkey Kong, this evil gorilla kidnaps a woman and climbs to the top of a construction site with her. And you play as Mario, who has to climb up after them and rescue her. In the second Donkey Kong game, Donkey Kong Jr., Mario has kidnapped the gorilla and taken him to the jungle. And you play as Donkey Kong's son, who has to rescue his father. The two games cancel each other out. If you play both of them, you've done nothing. Then there is Donkey Kong Country for the Super Nintendo, where Donkey Kong is living on an island with a bunch of other gorillas and they're being threatened by evil crocodiles. Mario isn't even there. <laughs> Do you know what this proves? The people at Nintendo subscribe to Jean-Jacques Rousseau's concept of the noble savage. You see, Donkey Kong is innately good but when he's exposed to the corrupting influence of civilized society, as represented by the construction site, he goes berserk. Also, crocodiles are naturally evil. Also, I do not understand that song, It's Raining Men. Because if it were really raining men, they'd be crashing through roofs and landing on pedestrians and splattering into jelly all over the sidewalks. And yet the song is like, Hallelujah! It's raining men! No! It is nonsense! Don't applaud it! If you ask me, a better title for that song would be... It's raining death! Horrible! Inescapable death! in the form of men! Thank you. Thank you. Breathe. <laughs> Eric Charles Nielsen, everybody. <laughs>